Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an Ipsy Glam Bag unbagging and it's got a couple cool products that I'm interested in looking at a little bit closer. So I hope you enjoy it. First out of the bag is the little card that comes with your Ipsy Glam Bag and it just says Ipsy Metropolis and it's got some gals walking kind of like on a bridge looking thing giving you the idea that perhaps it's like new york city or something i'm not really sure and it just says you're now entering metropolis we run this town head to ipsy.com slash glam bag right now to join us as we hit the big city streets you gotta check it out so um sometimes they do like a thing where if you post a picture and you use a certain hashtag you can win like a year subscription but this time they're not doing that so or at least they're not mentioning it on the card so anyway doesn't really tell you anything about the product so that's one thing i don't like about the ipsy bag is that it's there's no information about the actual products that are included in the bag but anyway they do they give it to you on the website so i guess go to the website like i had to do so the first thing out of the bag actually didn't fit in the bag because of the packaging but it is the bye bye under eye illumination which is a full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer by it cosmetics and i got it in the shade of tan and it's it's just a little i was gonna do the whole thing like that but anyway it, it's just a little tube of it but it's just a sample it's not like you're getting a full-size product so i'll be interested in trying this i don't usually do too much under my eyes because my eyes tend to water a lot because i have allergies and so my eyes water so i'm always like rubbing so that's why you'll you'll hardly ever see me wearing anything i don't even wear mascara under my eyes i don't wear eyeliner very much under my eyes just because it it, it just kind of wipes away so i don't usually use too much under my eyes although i probably could use it you know what i'm saying <laughs> but anyway so i'll try it though because I just I like trying new things so we'll try it. next is the bag itself and it is gray I like the color gray so that's a good thing but it's kind of like this meshy kind of material not really digging it but I know that some people will love it I do love that it's gray because I do like gray a lot the hardware is silver and it says ipsy on there and on both sides and just a regular size little bag so there's that the first product I'm going to show you is this Mana Kadar Beauty Blush product. It is pink with apricot undertones, and I cannot get the packaging open. I tried early. There we go. I got it open, y'all. This is a wonderful day. So, it, it's not overly pigmented. I don't know if you can see it in the... Can you see? Yeah, you can kind of see. Um, I... I put on a couple swatches of it so I'm excited to try it I think it'll look good on my skin but we shall see um, it has it says it has a slight shimmer to it but I don't really see the shimmer which is good because I'm not really a shimmery kind of person I'm not really I know I know a lot of people like that shimmery glitter stuff but not me I just prefer a more matte look and so I'm excited to try this, but I'm not going to close it all the way because it took me forever to get it open. I was like, I could not get that thing back open. So the next thing that I'm super excited about is this brush. It is a SL Miss Glam Blend Beauty Brush L34. So the reason I'm excited about this is because for Christmas, you may remember that I got the Urban Decay Ultimate Naked Basics palette and I need help blending, like for real. I'm just waiting for Urban Decay to go, <laughs> girl, 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 we'll fly you in and we're gonna show you how this works because clearly I need some help. But, so I'm excited to kind of get this brush. It's nice and it's fluffy and it's not black. A lot of brushes are black or whatever, but um, this is pretty and it has like a little pink ombre tip to it. So that's kind of pretty too. So I'm excited about this one. So I will definitely be using that. The next product up is this product by Pureless. It is a Blue Lotus Seed 5-in-1 Mud Mask and Exfoliant. I'm actually not a super big fan of mud masks. I like masks in general. I think, oh, what a cool idea. I could put like a mask on and, and help have like 
myself have healthier skin or brighter looking skin or better looking skin and then I never do them. I have several masks and mats like products like this that I'm just not using. So what I really need to do is like a declutter of my makeup and beauty stuff and just really give them to a good home like to somebody who's actually going to use them. But maybe I'll try this one because it is a mud mask and that sounds cool. I don't really care for the ones that you put on your face and it's like you're like Jason from that movie or whatever, you know, where it's just like a mask on your face. I don't like that. The ones that where you, you know, spread on yourself and then you wash off or whatever. I like those better, but I can't even really say that because I don't even really use masks. So I don't know. I'll have to do a beauty declutter, makeup declutter and see which ones I'm going to try and which ones I'm just going to pass along to somebody who might enjoy them better. This last product that I'm going to show you guys today is by temp It is a base smooth and matte primer. So when it comes to makeup, I tend to lean towards the matte side. I know a lot of people are into the dewy and all that kind of stuff, but my face tends to be oily. And so I usually try to kind of tone down the shine. So a matte product will, I think I'm going to like this better. Um, I, have been loving the what is it baby skin by covergirl that kind of is like a dupe for the smashbox primer and so hopefully this one will work just as well if not better but honestly baby skin is very inexpensive and it works just like the smashbox does so it looks kind of milky but that could also be the bottle it looks a little creamy i don't know we'll see i'm gonna try it because um, definitely like to try the products that I get. That's not even true either. If I tried all the products that I got, then I wouldn't have anything to declutter, right? Right. So I need to do declutter. Leave a comment below if you think I should do a beauty declutter because I certainly can do that because I have a lot of stuff. Maybe I'll film it anyway and then those that want to watch it can watch it. All two of you. I'm just kidding. Maybe three. All right, y'all, that's what I got today. I got in my Ipsy bag, I got this gray bag. Eh, I'm okay with that. And then I got this under eye concealer, which I don't put too much under my eyes because my eyes water so much. But I did get this blush, which I didn't, I'm trying to eat the bag. I didn't close the blush all the way because I'm telling you it was hard to open. So I have the blush, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the brush. I'm excited to try the primer and I may or may not try this mud mask and exfoliant. I don't know. I like the idea of it, but I'll just have to see about that. So let me know what you got in your Ipsy bag. If you made a video about your unbagging, you can leave it in the comments below as well. I'd love to check it out. So, all right, guys, don't forget, if you want to stalk me on Snapchat, it's Side of Awesome. And on Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, it's Side of Awesome 5. But just don't stalk me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye, y'all.